so hi everyone today we will be discussing about uh, byte pair encoding tokenization algorithm uh, which is uh, based on the idea of that uh, basically in some of the languages we don't have uh, any punctuations present so how to split uh, tokens in those languages uh, byte pair encoding helps us in that uh, so it is based on the idea of subword tokenization what is subword tokenization so if you have seen most some of the words uh, most of the words are con consist of sub words also sub tokens also for example fewest in this case few plus est so there are two tokens present in the same word similarly uh, fewer uh, or darker uh, so in, the, in these words we have uh, er getting added in the end also it's more of a combination of two tokens so uh, the entire idea of subword tokenization is that such a uh, technique like splitting the word itself into multiple sub words can help us in uh, handle out unknown words in the test data set. So let's understand how it works out. So first of all, assume that we have a dictionary, uh, the entire data set, uh, which consists of five uh, strings as low, two strings as lowest, three strings as newer, three strings as wider, and two strings as new. So it's just an example. So it's a, uh, now if you can notice that the ending of each string is uh, mentioned by an underscore sign, low underscore, lowest underscore, new underscore. So it's a special character that we have added on our end. Now, the next part is to split out each and every character from the uh, from the data set. So, we have got our vocabulary now, underscore D-E-I-L-N-O-R-S-T-W. The next step is to merge out uh, to, uh, two of these tokens. Assume that we have, an, uh, these are our initial tokens now. Uh, now, what we would be doing is that we would be merging out uh, uh, tokens one by one, depending upon their frequency present in the data set. So the highest frequency present in the data set would get merged and likewise and uh, so forth. So first of all, if you notice, uh, how are we merging? We are merging on the basis of uh, when where two tokens are consecutive in nature. So if you can see in the dictionary, R underscore and R underscore occurs nine times. Right. So uh, you can see that uh, R underscore six and R underscore three, six plus three, nine. It is the highest. A combination that is getting uh, occurring so hence what we did is that we have uh, added a new token in our vocabulary that is r underscore so we have merged these tokens r and underscore next step what we are doing is that we are merging out r underscore with er so you can see uh, er underscore er r underscore occurs nine times in the data set you are getting my point right once you have merged out the data set once you have started merging out so you consider this token as one now so uh, a new it new it is n e w e r underscore together so once we have merged out a token next uh, we are looking to merge out other tokens as well now it can be the case that we are using uh, already merged tokens in the new merging as well so in this case you can see in case of uh, r underscore e r uh, we are getting we are merging out e r underscore e r underscore as it occurs uh, nine times again so we have now a new token after r underscore we are getting e r underscore similarly the next merge is EW as it occurs uh, eight times EW in case of newer and EW in terms of new. So the new token is EW now. So likewise, uh, we need to keep on merging uh, the tokens that are depending either upon the total number of tokens that we wish to have in the data set. 